Hey guys, it's Zach from Say What Zach here. So, I've been doing some thinking and some thoughts on some of my top lists of, uh, well, since I've been watching hockey. Um, especially of the last, I would say, since 2008 to prior, because I really started to get back into hockey hardcore in 2008. And wanted to do some lists of some of my favorite players, some of my favorite playoffs, some of my favorite Stanley Cup runs, jerseys, all that fun stuff. So this is the first one. These are going to be my top 15 favorite players that are playing today. So current NHL, there's one of them I wanted to do. He's technically not on the team right now. So, you know, Jason Pollenville, you get a shout out. Love Jason Pollenville, but he is technically not on the roster right now. So that's disappointing. Anyways, um, not in any quite particular order. Um, again, it's pretty much mix hit in here. Uh, I have a list right here I'm trying to decide here. So I would say yeah, I'm going to probably do this favorite to least favorite of my top 15 favorites, if that makes any sense. So like ones that I always enjoy watching and I'll go and watch the game just for that player to players I like to track and keep, you know, see how they're doing every once in a while. So I'm going to start at the bottom with uh, Wayne Simmons. Oops. So Wayne Simmons, uh, again, I've enjoyed watching his career go. He's been, he was great for Philadelphia for several years. Um, I got to go to his last game as a flyer at the stadium series game. It was awesome. Everyone gave him a nice ovation and everything because everybody kind of knew he was going to be out of town relatively quickly. And he did. He got moved in, like before the next game to Nashville. And now he's in New Jersey. I've always enjoyed watching Wayne Simmons. I think he's a good physical player, but he doesn't ever usually cross that line of being too physical. And he's a good role player. I always enjoyed watching him play. So, again, Wayne Simmons is definitely down there. Um, yeah, we'll go with... So I'm going to go with Zach Smith. Zach Smith. I've always enjoyed him, not just because he spells his name the same as mine. But I always liked him on Ottawa. He was kind of one of those players who was, again, not talked about a lot, but a good role player. He worked hard, works hard, does his job. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I just always enjoyed watching. Plus, it was a very basic Zach Smith. I liked his name. A lot of these are based on their names alone, and that's why I, watch, I like them. Um, but yeah, Zach Smith, who's now in Chicago, I, I still keep an eye on him every once in a while and be like, yeah, I like him. I'm going to keep an eye on him. Um, next, we'll go with, let's see here. We'll go with Mark Edward Vlasic. So Mark Edward Vlasic is definitely one of the ones I like because of his name. I always call him Vlasic Pickle. It's my fun little nickname for him. Uh, he was one of the few Chicago, uh, sorry, San Jose Sharks I always watch. Every time I watch a Sharks game, they call out Vlasic. It's like, yeah, the Vlasic Pickle. So Mark Edward Vlasic, that's someone I'm, I really followed his career a whole lot, but I just I always loved watching Sharks games for his name alone. Uh, yeah, he was, he was definitely one of my favorites on the San Jose Sharks. Still is. Still probably one of my favorites, even though they're not doing very well. And he's not doing very well. Still. Didn't pick these players because they're always good. Picked them for, again, usually names or just enjoyed watching them play. Um, Let's see here. We'll go with this one next. Riley Sheehan. 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 Riley Sheehan. So I always enjoyed him when he was on Detroit. I thought he was good again, bottom forward. He always uh, played hard. It was kind of like a grinder. I liked that play. It was kind of disappointing when they had to move him out. I believe they traded him over to Pittsburgh at one point. Now he's over in Edmonton. So clearly Ken Holland likes him as well. But I, I think he's a good bottom forward. I remember the one year where he like his, he finally got his first goal. I believe the season was in the last game of the season. And I was just like, yeah, Riley Sheehan finally gets one. When nothing really matters now but yeah it's just it was nice to see him kind of picking up a few points in edmonton i still track him here and there and it's like hey he's he used to be on the red wings and i liked him so yeah riley sheehan has always been one guy i've always kind of followed uh again for at least the past you know, five six years probably at least but yeah so riley sheehan or sheehan sheehan we'll go with him next nick letty so nick letty I started following him again when he was on Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, I got, uh, when I was living in Chicago, I bought, I didn't buy hot cards as often because I didn't have a lot of money. I was working very low end jobs 
not making a lot, so hockey cards were the last thing on my list, but I could buy a pack here and there. And I remember getting a Nick Letty rookie card, and then I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I'd watch him play for the Blackhawks and kind of started following him and be like, hey, I know this guy. So I've been following his career pretty much from the beginning as well. It's kind of cool to find, follow him around. Uh, obviously, he went over to the Islanders, and he's been there pretty much ever since. But yeah, I've always liked Nick Letty. He's always been one of my favorite guys, especially when he was on Chicago. Again, I didn't like a lot of Chicago Blackhawk players. He was one of the few that I was like, yeah, I like him. Again, had his rookie card, so why not follow him? It's kind of how I did things a lot. I, was, I have a few rookie cards now where I'm kind of keeping track of them because I'm like, I'd like to see these guys do really good because their rookie card would be worth a little bit and it would be nice to say, hey, I have his rookie card. But anyways, I'm good that way. What can I say? Uh, we'll go with... Yeah. This one's going to get a little harder. Ryan Miller. So, I always kind of enjoyed him when he was in Buffalo for a little while there. You know, obviously, that was where his prime, the prime of his career was in Buffalo. But I did follow him around, especially in St. Louis. I watched him in St. Louis and in uh, Vancouver. But uh, fun story with the St. Louis Blues t-shirt I have. I wore it a lot after they won the cup. And people at work were always like, were you a Blues fan before? Or just because they won the cup? I'm like, actually, I have the shirt a few years ago. So, the Blackhawks and Blues are playing when I was living in Chicago in a Stanley Cup playoff round. And I was sitting there watching it at the gym saying, if the Blues can knock out the Chicago Blackhawks, I will buy some something St. Louis Blues related. The Blues knocked out the Blackhawks. So, I'm my word. I went online, found something that was on clearance. They had the Ryan Miller t-shirt on clearance because he was traded away to Vancouver at that point. And I picked it up. And I still wear it today. And that was probably about four years ago. It's one of my older NHL t-shirts. It's worn out. I still wear it to the gym a lot, but yeah, Ryan Miller, I've always enjoyed, and then I have the t-shirt for him when he's on St. Louis, which is kind of a fun story behind that shirt as well. So yeah, I've, I've been following him a lot, and I've still, again, every time I see him play in Anaheim right now, I'm like, yeah, I enjoy watching it. It's, it's, it gives me a little extra bonus there with having Ryan Miller to cheer for at the top of that. Um, we're going to go with, for number nine... Uh, Simeon Vilarma, Vilamar, Vilamoff. There, Vilamoff, Vilamoff. There we go. So if you guys have noticed, my Washington Capitals jersey is a Vilamoff jersey. I got it after he got traded to Colorado. Uh, I had him on my team when he, on my, one of my fantasy teams one year. I want to say it was his first year or second year in Colorado where he had an amazing run. He helped me go to the, the finals in my fantasy league. I lost to my cousin, unfortunately. But Verlamov was one of my key players on my team to help kind of solidify my goaltending, which was struggling. Like, my lineup was good. My forward lineup was great. My goaltending was awful. So I picked him up. He went on an amazing run. So I'm like, I have to get that. And I found a really cheap Washington Capitals jersey with his name on it. And that is my Capitals jersey I have. So Verlamov, again, I've been kind of following... When he was in Washington, I followed him a little bit. Then Colorado, I really got into it. And then I've been watching him, obviously, since he's been in the on the island this year. So, yeah, Vlamov is definitely one of those players I, I follow. Because, again, I, I get really close to some of the players I have my fantasy teams that help me win. Like Conor McDavid, I like as well. He's not on this list. I do like him uh, because he helped me win back-to-back -back years in my buy-in league. So, I've won $800. No, $600 because of Conor McDavid, pretty much. So kind of like him for that reason, and he's a good player. But no, I I stuck to pretty much one player for each team at most. Obviously, not every team got a player, but there's nobody who's going to be on the same team toy or no double teams on here. It's all one team, so that's pretty much where I'm on or where I'm at. So Conor McDavid didn't make it because Riley Sheehan made it, and I like I've been watching him longer than McDavid. Um, anyway, sorry, that's a little background on the story here. Next up, I'm going to go with. Halak, Yaroslav Halak. I've been again. I've been a fan of Halak since he was on Montreal. I remember back when the stories were around, should they keep Halak or Carey Price? I remember that very well because I was very torn on that too. And then they trade him over to St. Louis. I was like, oh, that sucks. I really like Halak. I thought there was a great goaltending duo of those two. And then he went over to St. Louis, and again, I was, I've always been kind of a big, uh, not a big fan of the Blues, but I've enjoyed the Blues because of the big rivalry we had with them in Detroit when I was younger. I've kind of become fans of teams with big rivals of, like, Colorado I like now, St. Louis, Dallas, because we played them a lot. 
when I was when we were younger and I was a Troy fan. So Halak, I always enjoy, especially when over to St. Louis. I always hoped that he would do it and be that extra little piece they needed for St. Louis. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Then he went to the island. That didn't work for him either. Uh, but I feel like he's found himself a nice little spot in Boston. I'm not a big Boston Bruins fan, but every time Halak does good, I'm like, yeah. All right, Halak. I'm really glad to see him doing good there and kind of found his niche spot finally. Because I think he's an amazing goalie. I always enjoyed watching him. And he's doing a great job kind of pushing to Rask and fighting for that number one spot in Boston. So, yeah. Halak. And I also have his rookie card from the MVP set that came out. So, it was kind of cool. I always followed him around. Um, next off, the list. We're going to go with yeah. Mark andre Fleury. It's Mark andre I always enjoyed Mark andre Fleury. Uh, not as much so when it was in Pittsburgh. Sometimes. Uh, 2008 and 2009. Wasn't a big fan of his. If you guys know, that's when Detroit and Pittsburgh played back-to-back -back Seneca Finals against each other. Mark andre Fleury uh, was always an awesome goalie. I always enjoyed watching him play because, again, he's... One of the best goalies in the league as of right now, obviously, with Henrik Lundqvist and him are pretty much the two uh, still active goalies fighting for Sioux and making them the tops of the list of wins for goaltenders right now. Anyways, Mark andre Fleury, uh, the flower. I've again, I've been watching him since Pittsburgh. I remember when he started to have some down years in Pittsburgh, they talked about trading him. I was like, eh, I don't know. I, I kind of like him there. I think he's just having down years, bad defense, a lot of injuries, kind of what Pittsburgh's going through right now with Matt Murray. Uh, but yeah, and then they obviously with the the resurgence of them in 2017 when they won that back to back cup, they would not have won that cup without Mark Andre Fleury. And that and there's no way, there's no way that you can convince me that in 2017 Pittsburgh would have won that cup without Mark Andre Fleury because Matt Murray injured before the first game of the playoffs. Fleury stepped in and took out top two the two teams, uh, helped them win the first two rounds. Struggled against the Ottawa Senators, but by then again you got Matt Murray came back in, helped them take out Ottawa. My, uh, you can't say you can't. You could throw in a rookie goaltender, and they would have been able to knock out some of those teams, especially Washington in the second round. I believe they played Washington in the second round that year. You wouldn't be able to have a rookie goaltender in there and win that cup. Fleury came in with that veteran presence and rejuvenated himself for the Vegas Golden Knights, where he's been playing pretty good, if you ask me. Anyways, Mark Andre Fleury, I've been a big fan of for a while as well. Uh. Three, four, five, six. So we'll go with, yeah, we'll go with Jonathan Quick. Jonathan Quick, which is why I'm wearing the 2012 Stanley Cup champion hat. Uh, that run was awesome. Jonathan Quick helped pretty much carry that team to the Stanley Cup that year. Uh, Mark on, or Jonathan Quick was just lights out in that, that playoff run. It was awesome watching that eighth seed win the Stanley Cup. He was just, yeah, he, he definitely made a fan out of me for Mark, for Jonathan Quick that year. Um, yeah, I, that was probably one of my, one of my favorite Stanley Cup final, uh, play of Stanley Cup finals ever was watching Jonathan Quick play in 2012. I, I really enjoyed that one. So Jonathan Quick, in 2014, he helped play and knock out the Chicago Blackhawks in the, was it the conference finals in 2014? And again, I just, I've been a fan of Quick, so I'm hoping he can get his, you know, his career back on track a little bit, maybe get a couple more wins in. I uh, wouldn't be surprised maybe if they trade him this year. We'll see what happens. I would follow him and be a fan of him no matter where he goes. So, Jonathan Quick, again, I'm a big fan of his. All right. So, we're going to go with, yeah, we're in the top five now. One, two, three. I'm just going to cross off some of these that I've done. So, I don't. Okay. So one, two, three. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, so we're going with Cross to Despair. Let's make sure I'm spelling everything right. Uh, Cross to Despair. So the jersey I'm wearing right now, the one I got during the Stadium Series game in Philadelphia. Again, if you guys watch the Stadium Series review uh, from 2019, that one of our very first videos we posted, I talked about the jersey and how I got it. But I've enjoyed Joe Gossel's Bear since he came onto the scene. Uh, he exploded onto the scene. I remember Philadelphia was kind of out of it. They were looking like they're going to miss the playoffs. And then Gossel's Bear got up there and he helped carry that team on his back into, I believe they made it into the playoffs that year, if I can remember correctly. I know he played a huge role in that team's 
resurgence that year in his first year. I believe it was 1516 or 1415. 1415, I think, is the year he did that. And yeah, it was it was one of those amazing players where it was just he was all over the place with the ghost bear emojis, with the ghost and the bear emojis. Yeah, it, I I like uh, Shingas bear. He has not been playing up the stuff as late, uh, you know, as much lately, but. Uh, I would like to see him kind of maybe make a bounce back. and Maybe they'll move him. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to be a fan of Shingas Bear until he's out of the league and long after that. Um, yeah, so Shingas Bear is number five. We're going to go with... Yeah, we'll go with... Okay, Johnny Gaudreau is going to be the next one. So yeah, some of these are a little bit more of a top-end players. Yeah, that's awful. Sorry, handwriting is awful. What can I say? It's also high up. But Johnny Gaudreau, uh, I remember when they had Gaudreau, Sean Monahan, I think it was Yuri Hoodler on the line or something like that. I, was, I can't remember, but it was it was a playoff round against Vancouver where it was Johnny Gaudreau was a big player, Sean Monahan and um, Yuri Hoodler were like it was like their top line, and it was against Vancouver. And I remember watching that series and I was like, oh, I really like this kid. This kid's awesome. This guy's great. Um, yeah, I've been a fan of Johnny Gaudreau's ever since. If I say, I think it's also fourteen fifteen. Fourteen fifteen had some of my, some created some of my favorite players that I'm watching now. That I, if there's several games on, I try and gear more towards those a little bit here and there. Since I've been doing this channel, I've been trying to watch everything. But before this channel started, I definitely tried to watch anything with Shingas Bear. He was always a key factor on my fantasy team. And Johnny Gaudreau, I always try to draft him at least in one of the leagues, if not both of them, when I can. And my fake Calgary Flames jersey also has Gaudreau on it, so. I'm hoping one day I'll get an official Calgary Flames jersey with Johnny Gaudreau. That's one of my goals. Is when I get my official one, it will be a Gaudreau jersey. Um, next, we will go with Pekka Rene for Nashville. So I've always liked Nashville to an extent for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because the Red Wings always played against them in the playoffs and knocked them out. So I was like, hey, it's fun. We get to play Nashville. But Pekka Rene has always been awesome. He's Again, one of the best goalies. I know he's been dying out a little bit as of late, but he was a he's been an amazing goaltender. It's always been a shame that he'd never he's probably not gonna win a Stanley Cup at this rate. He was so close in 17. That was very disappointing to see him not win that. But yeah, he's been one of my favorite goalies in the league for sure. Um again, watching him for years in Nashville. Again, when Nashville when Detroit was over in the Western Conference, we played against him a lot. Always like seeing Pecorino on the ice, even though we didn't always win against those games. But anyways, Pecorini is definitely one of my favorite goalies in the league right now. All right. We're going to go with Athanasiu for the Detroit Red Wings. A-N-A-S-I-O-U. Andreas Athanasiu. So, I remember when I first saw this kid come up and play for the Red Wings, I was like, this kid's going to be something special. That speed that he has, if he could just polish his finish, he, he reminded me a lot of Darren Helm, who could just never, he always had the speed, he just never had the finish. Uh, he could get on breakaways constantly, a shorthanded breakaway, and he's just like, that's Darren Helm, he's not going to make it, he's not going to score. And most of the time he wouldn't. After the see, he reminded me a lot of that, but he could score. Um, I personally think the Robins haven't given him, giving him the chance that he deserved of being a second line player. I think he could be that good if they gave him that chance. Like, I know, um, earlier on in the season they had him like the fourth line and stuff like that third line was like this kid's fast he's young use him i know ken holland had they had a contract dispute so they only signed him to like a year or two contract at one point it's like i don't know why everyone's kind of passing him maybe someone seeing something different than i am but i think he's amazing talent definitely could be a second line player for sure giving him the right chance and the right players uh, i don't know if we'll be able to do that in detroit reduce as much as we'd like him to see but uh, he is one of my favorite players. So if the Red Wings do end up trading him at some point, I will definitely be following uh, Andres Athens see you around and be picking up one of his jerseys when they go on clearance here in Detroit. That leaves number one. Uh, again, some of you guys may already know. If you guys know what my fantasy team's names are, you would know this as well. Mitch Marner is my number one, my favorite player to watch right now. Um... To me, he is one of the best Toronto Maple Leafs on the team. He's always, even, I, I bought the game where Austin Matthews and him were the first games in the NHL. Matthews scores four goals. Everybody's all about that. Mitch Marner was around that net 
getting chances constantly in that game. So I was like, he gets a little overshadowed by Austin Matthews in his debut and four goals. But from day one, Mitch Marner has been one of the best players. And when Austin Matthews has been out, Marner has produced. When Marner was out, they were struggling to produce. I think Marner is one of the key go- cogs in that Toronto Maple, uh, Maple Leafs lineup. Uh, yeah, definitely, arguably, I would say on par with Tr- with Austin Matthews. Maybe not point wise, like goal scoring wise, but he produces a lot. He's an energy player. He gives a hundred percent every game you watch him in. He can make some amazing plays. Um, he can man the power play. He can play penalty killing. He's one. Of, you know, said he is my favorite player to watch in the NHL as of right now. So, anyways. Those are my top 15 players to watch in the NHL as of right now. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments who your favorite players are. Because, again, I'm, everyone has their favorites. And they can be a fourth-line player. They can be a top-line player. They can be defense, goalie, forward, whatever. Uh, again, everyone has their favorites. So, again, I would like to hear about yours in the comments below. Give us a like and subscribe if you like the video. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.